You know that frustrating moment when you've styled a perfect blue button, but then a third-party library loads and turns it red? This happens because in CSS, when two styles have the same specificity, the one that loads last wins. But there's a better way. Let's talk about CSS at layer. Think of at layer like assigning shelves in a closet. You decide the order of importance from the bottom shelf to the top. You might have a reset shelf on the bottom, then a library shelf, then your app shelf, and finally a utility shelf on top. Once you set this order, you can put your styles on the appropriate shelf. The magic is that a style on a higher shelf will always beat a style on a lower shelf, regardless of which one loads first or last in your code. Here's how it works in practice. At the very top of your CSS file, you declare your layer order. You write, at layer reset, library, app, utilities. Then you put your button styles inside the app layer. Even if a library tries to override your button with a red style later in the code, it won't work if it's placed in the library layer because your app layer is higher in the hierarchy. Your blue button stays blue. And if you ever need to intentionally override something, you can use a utility class from that top shelf. It's a clean, predictable system that stops style conflicts for good. So that's CSS at layer. No more important wars, just clear and organized styling. If this helped, let me know by liking this video and subscribe for more web development tips. Thanks for listening.